Chapter 13 Faith After all was over and his message had been made plain to me, God gave me the command to repeat to the whole world my experience and this entire message. The Holy Spirit revealed that my ministry for repeating this message was limited to three years. I was not told what would happen after the three years or even if I would have the entire three full years. The counting period for my ministry of three years began May 7, 1980. After I, have, after I have been instructed on what to do, God then placed restrictions on me that made it impossible for me to do what he said I must do. He told me not to recruit associates or followers. God said he would supply my needs and direct me any help that I may need. God then gave me back my life and told me what I and told me that I was healed. He called my name and said to me, Howard Pittman, be it unto you according to your faith. When he had thus spoken, the interview was over. The angels placed their hands on me, and I remembered nothing until I opened my eyes inside my body in the hospital room. The first person I remember seeing was my doctor, who was standing at the foot of my bed. As my eyes opened, I saw a faint smile in his face. I saw him turn around and the, to the nurse and say to her, Come and see the miracle man. I tried to talk to him about my trip to heaven, but he would not listen. Even though he refused to discuss with me anything about my experience, he had confessed from his own mouth that a miracle had happened. As I looked back, at the great revelation session that I have with God, I wonder about some of the things that they would not allow me to remember, but I see clearly why it had to be that way. Even though I stood before God in counsel, and even though I received, him from, received from him this message, it was still necessary that I walk by faith. Almost daily my faith has been trod. One of the first trials was the healing God gave me. Not only did he heal me of my ruptured artery, but he also healed me of another semi-rare incurable ailment. This ailment had nothing to do with the ruptured artery or the miracle, but was something I had to deal with for 20 years. It was a condition the, doc the doctor it was a condition the doctor called sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is an ailment that somehow causes the automatic, automatic respiratory functioning to fail when one is sleeping. When I would have a, one of these attacks, I would be awakened with a start, unable to breathe. When I set up and touch something, I would start back to breathing. It was a frightening experience, but it bothered me only when I was sleeping. Having received treatment for this ailment over the past 20 years from four different physicians, I was told that the cause was unknown and that they knew of no cure. In fact, the only treatment they gave was advice on, about diet and sleeping habits. On different occasions, physicians would try experiments, but all amounted to the same thing, basically, and there was no improvement and no cure. The last attack I had was approximately one week prior to the great miracle. It came about midnight, and I was awakened with a start, unable to breathe. Sitting up in bed, I grabbed my wife's hand, and I, could, and I still could not breathe. Jumping out of bed, I made it to the bathroom. By the time I could put a glass, by the time I could get a glass of water, I was on my knees. When the water touched my lips, my breathing started back. Needless to say, I did not go back to bed that night, and as soon as, my, as the doctor's office was open that morning, I was there. The doctor seemed frustrated with me because he did not seem to think that I was taking his advice seriously. He told me, Mr. Pittman, you do not seem to be aware of the seriousness of this ailment. I assured him that I did appreciate his advice and that I did realize how serious this problem was. He advised my wife to take training on how to start my breathing if it failed again she was to learn how to start through artificial respiration when i asked god for healing i was only asked for healing of my ruptured artery however when god told me that i was healed 
it was for both conditions. God healed both conditions, but both were healed in different ways. He healed me of sleep apnea instantly. This type of instantaneous healing is what is known as miracle healing. He healed me of the ruptured artery by divine healing, which occurs through a process of over a period of time. He told me that I was healed, but for a period of three months or more after I had returned from the hospital, my body did not feel healed. Sometimes the pain was so great that it seemed that I could not stand it. During those times, my wife pleaded with me to return to the hospital for help, but I could not do that. God told me that I was healed, and I had to believe him. If God had not told me so, if God had not told me I was healed, then I would have returned to the hospital for help. However, I had to put trust in God no matter how much I hurt. After a few months, my body finally found, found out that it, was, that it had been healed. God had healed me of two serious ailments and had done it in two different ways. Each way for each ailment was his choice. However, my faith was involved in both those healings.